I've driven the new Toyota Tundra a few times this year, from the base all the way up to the top of the line luxurious capstone. However, I've only had a brief encounter with the best looking Tundra of them all. My name is Omar and this is the 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. You, you have to say it like that, you can't say TRD Pro. It has to sound tough. TRD Pro, let's go. All right, I'm going to say it right off the bat. At first, a lot of people were skeptic about the way the new Tundra looked. Some people liked it, some people hated it, but this thing has, here we go, the most said automotive phrase in the world. The new Tundra has really grown on us, or me, I don't wanna speak for everybody else. But yeah, this Tundra TRD Pro looks like an absolute beast. In my opinion, this looks better and tougher than the Ram TRX and the Ford Raptor, especially in this solar octane color that I'm driving here. I absolutely love the front end of this truck and very rarely do I care about the rear end design of a pickup, but the new Tundra looks great from the back as well, especially here with the giant TRD Pro stamp on the tailgate. That said, while the Tundra TRD Pro here may look better than the Ram TRX and the Ford Raptor, it doesn't really compete with those trucks. It doesn't have north of 700 horsepower and it isn't going high speed desert racing. The Tundra TRD Pro here is powered by Toyota's new iForce Max hybrid powertrain, which takes a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and puts an electric motor between the engine and the 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for pumping out 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. But this hybrid isn't designed for higher fuel economy figures. No, no, this is designed for a higher torque curve to give you that power you need when you're towing or when you want to just show off how fast your truck is. And this has fake engine noise pumped into the speakers to give it that V8 sound. Just take a listen to this. It's kind of nice, but a bit too much. But hey, it gives me that V8 feeling from a twin turbo V6. So is the new Tundra TRD Pro something you should consider buying? Is it a capable truck? Is it a truck that you can use as your daily driver? Let's find out. Let me give you a quick tour of this thing. We'll take a look at the TRD Pro side of things and we'll take a closer look at the interior and the exterior. And then we'll get back out on the road and I'll tell you whether or not if you should consider buying the new Tundra, especially the TRD Pro, I mean TRD Pro one over the competition. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. All right, let's do this. All right, let's kick things off like we always do and talk pricing. You have seven trims to pick from, starting off with a base SR at around 37,000 all the way up to the most luxurious capstone trim starting at around $75,000. The TRD Pro that I'm testing here starts at $68,520 and really the most expensive option on my test model here is the awesome solar octane color that will cost you an extra $425. Now it's worth mentioning that you can get the TRD off-road package on the Tundra in either the iForce or the iForce Max Hybrid and with the five and a half foot or a six and a half foot bed and that will give you some pretty strong off-road capabilities. The TRD Pro, on the other hand, is only available with the iForce Max hybrid setup and can only be had with the Crew Max 5.5 foot bed. So, what makes this a pro? Well, for one, it looks awesome and really tough. This is definitely one of my personal favorite trucks when it comes to looks. And most of that is apparent right up front. It looks super aggressive with a giant blacked out Toyota Heritage grille, which in my opinion looks super tough and really unique. You also have amber marker lights, which you don't really need here, unlike you do on the Raptor and the T-Rex, but it looks cool. Finally, right under the Toyota badge, you have a TRD Pro light bar, which you can only turn on when you're using your high beams and hit the TRD Pro light bar button right here. You also get a different set of LED headlamps with a black trim while other Tundra models get a chrome trim. Now swing around the back and while most of it does look like the other Tundras, you do have TRD Pro stamped right into the tailgate because it looks really tough. The other thing that you'll notice is that the TRD Pro gets what Toyota calls technical camo trim all around and it looks really dope. But yeah, overall, this is a very tough looking truck. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. That said, let's get into the real TRD part of things, the part where this does the off-road life better than the other Tundras. First up, the multi-terrain select system is standard on the TRD Pro, which you can also add on the other Tundra models if you get the TRD off-road package. Now, once activated, you have the choice of five different modes, including auto, dirt, sand, mud, and deep snow. 
Now this also gives you the multi-terrain monitor that gives you a bunch of camera angles that are super useful for when you're on uncharted territory and you also have a bed view so you can see what's going on in there. The Tier D Pro also gets downhill assist control and crawl control as standard and you can pick between five different settings for the Tundra to automatically crawl downhill or uphill. I'm sure that's pretty useful for somebody that goes off-roading and of course you also have a low speed transfer case and a locking rear differential. As for drive mode, you're working with Eco, Normal and Sport along with Tow and Haul. Now, unlike the TRD off-road package that gives you Bilstein shocks, the TRD Pro gets two and a half Fox internal bypass coilovers and rear remote reservoir shocks. You also get a TRD off-road suspension with a 1.1 inch front lift and a front stabilizer bar. Other than that, you get 18 inch TRD Pro matte black forged aluminum BBS wheels that are wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Of course, you also have this giant TRD branded skid plate right down here and you have TRD Pro dual black exhaust tips. And of course, that exhaust sound doesn't sound so bad. Let's take a listen. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't go off-roading much and are just getting the TRD Pro because it looks cooler, I'm with you. I do the same. That said, the coolness factor of the TRD Pro continues inside. The first thing that you'll notice are these TRD Pro soft tech seats with contrast stitching and the same technical camo design you have on the outside. And I gotta say, these seats are super, super comfortable. Not only that, they are heated and ventilated as standard. Both the driver and the passenger seats are eight-way power adjustable as well, and you also have memory seats for the driver. Now, the second thing that you'll notice is this giant Toyota stamp right here in front of the passenger. That looks really cool and classic. The TRD Pro also gets a red striped TRD branded leather shifter and a TRD Pro branded leather trim steering wheel with a red center stripe. Not to mention, the steering wheel is also heated as standard. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that this interior is very, very spacious. And because of that, there are a bunch of little storage areas all around this cabin, which is pretty useful whether you're buying this as a work truck, as an adventure truck, or as a family vehicle. All right, so hop in the second row and you're working with a total of 41.6 inches of legroom, which is massive. You could literally live back here. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. I think this seat even moved back for the easy exit thing. And I still have tons of room. All right, let's move on to the tech in the Tundra TRD Pro. Like most other Tundra models, you get this giant 14 inch touchscreen display that houses Toyota's new infotainment system. I'm not going to dive too deep into this since I've gone over it a few times before in my other Toyota reviews, but really quick, it's a pretty quick and simple system to use. You get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as standard, and they look awesome on this giant screen. You can also add navigation as a part of a subscription service, but I feel like most people will just end up using Google Maps or Waze from their phone in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, when it comes to driver assist tech, you'll have all the assist that you'll need as a part of Toyota's safety sense, including adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, automatic high beam, all the cross traffic alerts and all of that. And again, the camera game here is pretty awesome as a part of the multi-terrain select monitor. As for the sound system, the Tundra TRD Pro comes standard with a 12 speaker JBL sound system, and it's a pretty solid system. Not the best, but it'll do. All right, so before I give you my opinion on how the Tundra TRD Pro is as a daily driver, let me point out a few important daily ownership highlights that I'll have to show all of you. You have a total of six cup holders, two in the front right there, and then in the back, you have two right here in the center armrest, and then you also have two right here in the center console in the front. Here are the keys to the Tundra TRD Pro. No TRD logo on the keys, wish there was one. Door closed sound from the outside, and the inside, solid. Charging game wise, there's a lot going on. You have a wireless charger right there and a USB A port right up there. You've got a USB C and A port in the center armrest. Those sitting in the back have a USB A and C port and a household outlet. Let's do an indicator and horn sound test. Indicator first. Pretty simple. Now for the horn sound. Oh yeah, that's solid. All right, let's take the Tundra TRD Pro for a spin. Now I haven't had the chance to take this off-roading because it's been raining like every single day I've had this. It's just sunny right now and this thing is about to go back in like two hours, but I'm not a big off-roader either. I just really enjoy tough pickup trucks and I want one as my daily driver. And when it comes to that, the new Tundra TRD Pro is great. It's so smooth and so comfortable that you don't even feel like you're driving a pickup truck. The ride quality of the new Tundra is a huge improvement over the last generation. And a lot of that has to do with the multi-link rear suspension that now gets coil springs instead of leaf springs. You also get a double wishbone front suspension and all that makes the new Tundra a more comfortable and more stable daily driver. You see, I don't really tow or haul anything and I never get the itch to drive two hours out into the middle of nowhere and do some extreme off-roading. I just think pickup trucks are cooler than SUVs. 
and people should buy these over three row or two row giant SUVs. Now, there are a few pickup enthusiasts out there, especially Tundra enthusiasts, who have been hating on it for no longer having a V8, and they shouldn't because it gets more power and is more capable. For those that do real pickup truck things, unlike me, the non-hybrid Tundra gets a max towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. I should mention that the hybrid Tundra, like the TRD Pro here, can tow 11,450 pounds. Nonetheless, both of those figures are more than the ones on the outgoing V8 ones. So yeah, you can still go and do those things if you're about that life. I'll just stay here on the road and enjoy this fake V8 noise coming from this twin turbo V6. Honestly, I think we all need to give in and stop hating the fact that V8s are unfortunately going away. However, the acceleration that this iForce Max Hybrid powertrain provides is very strong and pretty instant. But yeah, the TRD Pro Tundra is the most capable Tundra in the lineup. It has more off-roading gear that will help you tackle some tough terrains at higher speeds than the Tundras with the TRD off-road package. And you'll actually look really cool doing those off-road things. Now, do I think that the new Tundra can catch up to the popularity of the F-150, the Silverado, and the Ram? I think it's going to be tough. I think the buyers of those big three pickup trucks will never really consider competitors. And I mean that even shopping within those three brands. The F-150 buyer will never really buy a Silverado, and the Silverado buyer will never really buy an F-150. The Tundra also has its loyalists, and I think those loyalists will continue to buy a Tundra. Of course, here and there you might see a small percentage of buyers that want to try something new. And to me, the new Tundra is such a solid upgrade that I think that small percentage will be a little higher this time around. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace. I feel like that fake V8 noise might get a little annoying after a while. But nah, I take it back. It's actually pretty solid. I like it. I can just imagine the comments right now going on about, oh, it sucks. It doesn't have a V8. Get over it. V8s are going away. And I hate it too.